Hello, Shalom Rastafari. Okay, let's line this up right here. All right, Shabbat Shalom, Sendat Salam. For another Sabbath, and the date is uh, date is uh, September twenty second. September twenty second. All right, so let's uh, bring this up right here. Another uh, Shabbatical, Shabbatical, all right, Shabbatical. Let's bring this up front and center. All right. All right. So this is I and I classic Beta Israel peoples. All right, classic Beta Israel people. This is who we be. This is our root, even though we were the once lost but now found day to Israel. We give thanks and praise to Abba, to our Father, to Kedemah, we have the Salah, to our Godfather and King of Kings and the Moshiach, Yeshua, for this, for this day. And we're still in Devarim. You know, we're still in the Torah portion of Devarim. Uh, pray that I um, uh, just have to do a little setup right here. Um, for bring up a couple of the files right here. We're just reasoning with a brethren, one of I and I brethren, um, his sister and the family just added a another one to their to their number, and we give thanks and praise um, to His Majesty in the name of Christ to His Divine Majesty. And, and we just, you know, um, pray for them in Yeshua and in grace and in his, his majesty's peace and in Christ that they, you know, that they just, just overcome and, and just continue to move forward. And I and I is also moving forward as well. You know, um, I just give thanks for that news just to hear that positive and that, and that, that good news right there. So the Torah portion. This is what's interesting about the Torah portion. You know, in the next um, in the next uh, two, uh, what's the twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, and the evening of the twenty fourth, going twenty fifth, right? The twenty fifth, I think, to the evening of the twenty sixth. But man, make sure the twenty fifth and twenty sixth, right? Uh, well, what's what is the twenty fifth and twenty sixth? It's Yom Kippur, or what we call Bamarinya from the Gutters, Astes Rio. Astes Rio. What is Astes Rio? Well, I and I give thanks that you ask. If you have asked, what is Astes Rio? You've heard of um, Yom Kippur. Haven't you heard of Yom Kippur? Yom Kippur is the Day of Atonement. It's a day of atonement. What is a day of atonement? Well, if you just take an overview of that, and we're going to hope to go into a little more detail on the on the day of atonement. The day of atonement from the Old Testament, and then we're going to we're going to 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 remove the veil. So so we're looking at it in the Old Testament from the root, and then we're going to get the overstanding. So. By studying the Old Testament is to get the basic foundation, you know, to get a basic standing. And then we move forward to the New Testament, right? The New Testament, which is revelation. Because the revelation reveals the truth. So let's bring this up right here, Devarim, right? Devarim. Let us bring the, the print copy up right there. And let us open, if we can, right here the cover, so you know which uh, which uh, book we're in. There we go, Devarim, right? Devarim. Okay, that's too that's too large right there. Okay, you see this is the Devarim. This is what book from the from the Hebraic. You understand the Hebraic or the Mard and he. We actually call it Babylonian Hebrew, right? This is from the Babylonian Hebrew right here. So let's see if we put this over here. Put this over here. 
Alright, this is the cover. Let's bring this a little further over there. And let's put that, let's move this a little bit more. Send to this right here. The one can at least get an understanding of who we be and how we study and how we grow in the way, the truth, and the life. Alright? Because the Torah is the foundation. Okay, so here is here is a here's a here's a copy of Devarim. Let's go to page uh, four eighteen. Let's go to page four eighteen. Right? Let's go to page uh, four eighteen. So that's the t that's one of the title pages right there. Four eighteen. Now we only have a a few more readings. Right, uh, what is it, 4, 4, 18, in this, uh, Torah portion, right, and this is a holy season, what's known as the fall festival, what's called the fall festival season, so let's bring this forward right here, 4, 18, uh, of course some of the pictures, you know, some of the pictures are based on the modern, um, and some say whitewash, Eurocentric, the Eurocentric, Eurocentric, the Eurocentric. We're, we're seeking to walk in grace with those who are without. But some things we already, some things we we already know, right? Okay, bring it, bring it forward down here. Uh, Four eighteen. Okay, the page numbers were a little bit off, all right? Because we didn't count the fact that there's an intro. Okay, there, there we go. Nitsa Veen. Can you see that well? Mitzvah V. Do we need to, to go in a little bit? Okay, Mitzvah V. Right? Mitzvah V. That is a, another document our Sabbath house reading. Right? Let's just see if we can bring up the Sabbath, the Sabbath house reading right here. Here's the Sabbath house reading. Let's get the most recent update. And we probably most likely have to update this once again. All right. Yeah. Samen Tawi. Yeah. Samen Tawi. All right. Yeah. Samen Tawi. Let's just go over this. Most of you all are learning this, and some have actually got to um, know it, and practice makes perfect. So don't believe there's nothing perfect as long as you're not practicing. So this is yet sa mi ni ta we ye sa mi ni ta we or ye sa min ta we ye sa min ta we. Now in translation that would mean the week, right? The week or weekly of ye of the weekly se. Ni be te. This is sa. This is se. All right. Se su si sa se si so. E u e a a e o. Seven vowels. Basic. Pure. E u e a a e o. Se ni e be e te e. Sen bet. Sen bet is Sabbath. All right. Now. We are in the 40, no, actually 50, 50, you could have done anything. The 51st, it's called Koma Chihuahua, Koma Chihuahua, Bamarinya, right? And just, just one, one more right here. This is Orit, Orit, Ethiopically is Torah, Nibab, Nibab. Nibab, orit nibab. It means Torah reading. So, the the weekly. Remember, we're translating. It's yesam and tawi, right? It's yesam and tawi. So once we can get to know yesam and tawi, send that. We can say yesam and tawi, send that. But until then, so one would recognize. We call it Sabbath house reading. And you go to www. LOJSociety.org, and you can find it, I think, on the resource, on the resource page. So 
let's move this forward so we can get to the chart right here. And we're on page, I think, 14, on page, actually 13, on page 13. So on page 13, here we go. All right, let's, let's zoom this in right here. Here's where we're at. All right, here's where... Here's where we are at. All right. Um, let's uh, zoom. Let's zoom out of measure. There we go. Um, call my Fifty, fifty-one. This is fifty-one. It's kind of fifty-one. Call my Right. Call my chihuahua. Who's been practicing in the Barbados? All right. Well, we have to do some videos on that, don't we? There's some videos that we have and park online and studies. It's in practice. It's in practice. And and you you parents, well, I judge, not just your children, but your children will be inspired by your, you understand, being as a child again and learning. Mm hmm A lot of ones say. Well, I want my youths to know it. I want my youths to know it. Well, you have to know it. I mean, you know, the same thing many of us have gone through. You know, parents want us to be one way, but those who have at least tried, nothing beats a failure but a try. So, komachi kwa lit. Right? And here's we at 51. 51. Komachi kwa lit. Komachi kwa lit. Komachi kwa uh, and the Ibrayist it says ni ta well here's ta ta beam but nit ta beam nit ta beam or nit ta beam right now it's one of the the Torah portion that usually doubles up but you know we're kind of like in a kind of like a leap year sort of a thing you know a leap year and we try to touch a little bit on the whole calendar thing you know the difference between the Western and the Eastern um, calendar. But let's just go through this reading. This reading is called You All Who Stand. You All Who Stand. And it and it consists of, okay, where did we go right there? Okay, let's bring it in again, right? You All Who, okay, here we go again. Okay, this thing, I think I, uh, you could try to name. All right, let's, let's bring this up again right here, double portion. Okay, as you can see, we have, um, three more Sabbaths, right? And we're also in a high holy season, all right? Now that should be overstood. And even though many are still learning these things, don't don't stress. Let's walk in grace. Remember Hebrews uh, ten twenty. Mm hmm in a new and a living way. So we have for the first um, the Torah portion reading, we have Deuteronomy 29, 10 to Deuteronomy 30 and 20. For the Haftarah reading, we have Isaiah 61 and 10 to Isaiah 63 and 9. And then for the Burt Hadash reading or the New Covenant reading, we have Romans 10 verses 1 to 12. Now, in um, most um, in most uh, forms of uh, Judaism, right? In most forms of Judaism, let's get this uh, portion right here. Or read uh, the Dagim, right? Or read uh, the Dagim. Let's bring this up. Now we notice that uh, we notice that on the on the Wikipedia. They kind of have updated since like September 2nd. They updated um, what's up there. We were able to um, compile from the, from the old version. Now they have like updated to a new version that basically includes the Aliyot, you know saying, the Aliyot portions. In other words, this portion right here, that we find in Deuteronomy 29, 10 to Deuteronomy 30, verse 20. If you go to Wikipedia, what we have in our published volume that we have right here, 
in this published volume right here, this is the published volume right over here. Just for you to understand, this is the published volume. Now, that's from the old version. Now, they have a new version. And we hope to actually publish that as well. We're going to see to work on the download. The good thing about this version here, it gives a summary. While the new version actually breaks down each Torah portion according to the traditional, the present way that it's read. We haven't had the opportunity to, to finish all of our writing so that we can put it according to the Medtav Kedus. In other words, to take the best that we're learning and that can be um, um, witnessed in our uh, Ethiopian um, tradition or in our Black Beta Israel and with Rastafari revelation as, as the cap. Yovas will explain more, Yah willing, as we go forward. So this Torah portion right here, let's bring this up. The Torah portion right here, right, is Deuteronomy chapter 29 and 10, right? So let's um, just bring this up by Marinya, right, chapter 10. Right, uh, let me 29, chapter 29, verse 10. Right, chapter 29, verse 10. And as you can see it right here, um, can we make this any larger? I think we we might be able to make this. Okay, this is the largest that we can make it right right here. Um, I hope you can see it. Um, right, um, well, uh, let's see, we go to verse, verse 10. Remember, in the Hebrew, it's nitzah bin. Mm -hmm. Nitzah bin. You all who are standing. You all who are standing. It's kind of interesting. I didn't notice it, but the Holy Spirit just brought this to mind. You can see that all these ones are standing. But really, it's interesting because we have Yom, Yom Kippur. Bamarinya is Aztes Rio. Aztes Rio. Now, a very good book to really understand it from an Ethiopic perspective. And perhaps you can get a copy of this. So we, we, don't, we don't have this particular volume available. And here, um, we'll, we'll open this up right here. Right, this, is, this, is, uh, this, this, this book right here. Excuse me, this book right here, um, this particular book, where is, we have a hard copy. You can see the hard copy. Put the, okay, the light right here. This particular book, Falasha Anthology, translated from, you see that, Ethiopic Sources, with an introduction by Wolf Leslaw, right? And you can see the traditional Ethiopic, um, um, Beta Israel. You know, in the land, see the mountains there, right? And you see that they are standing. Now, there's a lot of metaphysics, right? There's a lot of metaphysics as well that's attached to it. And in order to really get into meta metaphysics, we have to deal with the basic foundation, right? The basic foundation. The basic foundation, we find this in the... Scripture in the Torah, right? The Torah or the Orit, the Orit, right? So um, let's go to the Yota, the Iota program and healing up I and I brothers and sisters everywhere, Yovas, and give thanks if you're tuning in. And if there's others uh, who are interested, feel free to download this and to repost it as well. So here, let's 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 begin right here. It says, it says, "Hulachahu, alekochachahum, negadochachahum, shemagalewochachahum, shumamen tochachahum, ye Israel sewoch hulu, lijo chachahum, seto chachahum, vesafer rachahum, yale ina chetehin ye mikort wu." Ha hinnim yemik eda metatenya zare be amlakachu. 
באגזיעה, בהר, צית, קומת שחל. Now it says, ye stand this day, all of you, before, according to King James, the Lord your God, Balmarinya, before Egezia the Her, the sustainer, the father, the firstborn chosen nation of the light. Before your source, the Amlakachu, the Egezia the Her, feet, Koma Chihual. Ye stand. Right now, one thing I noticed, um, in the translation, okay, it's there. This day, Zare, Zare is there, Zare. Ye stand this day, all of you, before Yahweh, the Hebrew expression, he who is who he is, revealed to us by our Hebrew brother, lawgiver, Mashu, Muse, Moses. Now we're not going to get into the divine names in this particular um, in this particular pod and upload, but it's very important for us too, because many have asked, well, what is the difference between Egezi Abher? What's the meaning of Egezi Abher? What's the meaning of Amlak and Amlakachu? And we translate the word for God, uh, uh, the word that's translated in English, God from the Ethiopic, Amlakachu, as your source. Be'egazi'abihir, the sustainer. Egazi'ab, the father, beher, of the firstborn chosen nation of light. Now, the firstborn chosen nation of light, this is from studying the etymology of the Ethiopic etymology of it. And that, too, we have to go into a little more in detail at the you know, in its own time. But let's go on. It says right here that ye stand this day, all of you before, he who be who he be, his divine majesty, your source, our father. It says your captains, your captains of your tribes. Now I want you to observe the organized nation and the organization. This is the key to sustainable repatriation. This is the key. Beginning on the individual responsibility. Beginning on the individual and extending to the collective level. You understand? But just let's just hear this verse right here. Right? It says your captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, and all the men of Israel, your little ones, your wives, and thy stranger that is in thy camp, and the stranger or the metatenya, the sojourner which is in the camp, from the hewer of thy wood, the one who cuts down I and I wood. It says stranger, don't say slave. You know what I'm saying? Don't say slave. It says stranger, because there are ones who are not of the black beta Israel, but they love. His divine majesty, our Father, as their Father in Yeshua HaMoshiach. And they are welcome. It says, from the hewer of thy wood to the drawer of thy water. Right? Now let's go to verse 12 and verse 13. It says, Yehowim zare le'ersu his adergo yasnesa zen. Arsum le antende tenagre, la abato chat, la abato chehim, la abrahamina, le yishak, le yaikovim, in the male amlaka yahon le zen. Amlaka he, egziaver ka antegar zare, be miyadergo, al kidan, tegeba zen. Translation, it says, that thou shouldest enter. So what are they standing for? 
Just like we stand for our Shema. Brothers and sisters, we got to touch on the Shema, don't you know? For our Shema. You know what I'm saying? For bearing that oath, that witness. Right? It says that thou shouldest enter into covenant, into Kal Kidan. What is Kal Kidan? It's word agreement. Word up. You understand? With Yahweh, he who be who he be. Thy Elohim, our Father, our Abba, according to the revelation of Rastafari in Yeshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and into his oath, into his oath, Mahala, Ye'egaziyabi Harin Mahala, right? Make it with thee this day. Now, as we were saying that this is really pointing to the, the Yom Kippur, Aztes Rio. And we hope to do a vid on the Aztes Rio and the Ethiopic and the, and the Rastafari revelation of Yom Kippur. All right? So please, brothers and sisters, stay tuned for that. And do your own search and study. You know and Study and show yourself approved to Abba. To our Father, to His Divine Majesty, to the Hashem, to Ruku, to Kedamari Haila Salase, in the name of our Black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Getachina, Medhanatachin, Jesus Christos. It says, verse 13, Kutera Asara Asara Sost, it says, that He may establish thee today. That, see, who establishes us? It is the sustainer. It is Amlakachu. It is your source. And who is that? Yahweh. He who be who he be. His divine majesty. Ha Elohim. The true and the living God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Shua Moshiach. And then don't you ever forget that. That he may establish thee. That he may establish we. That he may establish I and I. You and me. I and I. Today. Today, today, if you would hear his voice, for a people, he establishes for what? For a people. To who? To himself. So we are Rastafari because we are that revelation people to himself and that he may be to thee a God, the God, the, tr the source, our Abba in the revelation of the Moshiach. Yeshua, Yehoshua, HaMoshiach, Adonenu, as he hath said to thee, as he has said to us and to our ancestors, as he has said, as he has sworn to our forefathers, to Abraham, to Yisahak, and to Yaakov. All right? Let's go through this. This is very important that we understand that we are standing, you know saying, and how we stand and how we establish in the proper order according to the al Kidan, the word agreement, the covenant, Shema, Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Ahad, Bessama Ab, Wali, Memphis, Kedus, and all the faithful Rastafari and Ethiopians and all people who are faithful say, Ahadu, Amlak. So this is very, very important. This is the key for we in the covenant. This is this is the root, right, of our of our divine this, this right here, yeah, of our divine heritage. You know what I'm saying? This is the root. It's the word. Remember, it's a kal kidan. It's a word agreement, not a picture agreement, not an eye trade agreement, not a kanabosum agreement. You know what I'm saying? Not a it's not even a dreadlock agreement because you have to recognize that it says, speak to the what? The children of Israel. And so this is the foundation for all the blessings to follow. All right? Kutara Asara Asara Arat says, Nim Yihin Kal Kidana Yihin Mahala Yema Dargo Kanantagar Bichai Delem. Now, here's the key thing right here. It says, Neither with you only. So remember, this was spoken to our ancestors and saying, neither with them only. 
right? Did the Most High say, do I make this covenant, this kal, right, this kal kidan, not only with, right, not only with who? Not only with them. So ones who say, well, that was a long time ago. But it's not only with them that he has made this, this covenant and this oath, right? Kutar asara hamis, it says, Negergin, Zare Bamlakachin be egzi abe her feet, Kanyagar bezi, Kamikom, Sogar, Zareim, Kanyagar bezi, Kalele Sogar no in Jesus. But with him that standeth here with us this day before, before, be. I'm lakachin before our source, before the sustainer, the father, the father of light, Abba, right? Before Yahweh, he will be who he be, his divine majesty, Abatachin, our father. And also with him that is not here with us this day. So it's not only for those who were there. You know what I'm saying? It's not only for those who were there, right, at that time, but it's also for those who were not there. Right? This is this, this is this is very, very, very um this is very, very important for us to meditate on. You know what I'm saying? The Kal Kidan. What's Kal Kidan? It's word agreement. The Kal Kidan. All right? Now, Kutar Kutar um, Asara Asara uh, Sidist, it says, Negergin, Negergin, Inya Kagubit Midar Inda Tekemetin, Be Mekakalachuim, Bale Fachu Bacho Aheza Mekakel, Inda Lessin, Aukachalina. For ye Y'all know how we have dwelt in the land of Egypt. But now we have to understand this in Revelation. You understand? Know because it's a very important as we're coming up to Fasika. You understand? Know um, Y'all willing? You understand? Know as 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 the earth as the earth stands. You understand? Know coming up um, at the other circular cipher rotation in our holy. New Year, speaking about the Passover or Fasica. Now, like I said, there's a very important word, right? A very important word for us concerning concerning um, Passover, Fasica. Now, some say, well, Egypt, and they go on and talk about Egypt, and they talk about Egypt, and they talk about, well, Egypt, and many of our, even Israelite brothers and sisters don't recognize it's a very important prophetic verse. And let's see if we can open up the Word, right? Let's open up the Word um, software, right? Let's open the Word software and see if we can bring that forward. And it's actually in Jeremiah. Take a note, Jeremiah chapter 23, um, verse 8, it says, um, well, actually, verse 7 and 8, it says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, he who be who he be, that they shall no more say, Right? In other words, there, there are new days coming. I want you to really understand how, let's see if we can, um, let's see if we can uh, uh, ground this, um, let's see if we can uh, um, bring this, uh, what you call it, uh, dock this, let's see if we can dock this. You know, one dock. All right, all right. This is one dock. But let's let's bring this here, and let's get to okay. One more time. You could tell brothers and sisters. All right. All right. It can't maximize. Must place it in the window. Okay. Must place it in the window first, and see if we can. Um, dock this so it'll be a little bit larger. It'll be a little bit larger for you to see this right here. So we're going to Jeremiah chapter 23. 
it's important to understand because many say, well, uh, uh, what's the what's the what's the relevance, right? What's the relevance? Or may say, well, what's the relevance uh, of this particular? Can you see it well right there? I don't know if you can see it that well. Let's let's see. Okay, so you cannot maximize. Please place the window in the main window first. Okay, let's try document one set. There we go. There we go. Hallelujah. 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 All right, let's go to uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, because the prophets, remember we have to understand what the prophets say. You understand? Because the prophets give us the upgrade. Right? The prophets give us the upgrade. So we're going to go to verse 7. And here we go to verse 7. Right? Verse 7. Right? And I want you to see how, how, um, here, here can, can you see this wall right here or is it too large? The too large right here. Okay, let me see if I can bring it down like this. And then I can get this full. Okay, you see this? All right. Now, all right. So it says, um, verse uh, 7. Let's go to verse 7. So we're in Jeremiah, verse 7. I don't know if you can see this too well right here. You know, could have zoomed it in, but it says, therefore, right, therefore, Let's see if there's a, a view size and we can, um, we can, uh, tighten up the view right here. Find the view options. All right. I'll put this right here. But you, if you go to verse seven and eight, let's just let's just make this connection right here, and we're going to return to. The, I want you to make connection between um, this Torah portion, reading and feeding, right? Where it says in verse seven, Jeremiah chapter twenty-three, verse seven. It says, "Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that they shall no more, that they shall no more say, the Lord liveth." Or Yahweh liveth, or Yahai, Yahai, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right? That they shall no more say that. Really? So we have to over this. You see, taking that veil off of our eyes. And now we're going to verse 9. It's going to, going to verse 8, actually. We just went past it. The text is not, is not very, very... It's not very, very, oh, in fact, let's see if we can, all right, no, there's not a, okay, excuse me for not, for not having all of these things to zoom in, you know, it takes some, it takes some, okay, let's go on to verse 8, it says, but, so no, no longer would they say that Yah lives, let's actually bring it over here. No longer would they say that Yah lived, which uh, brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But, verse 8, Jeremiah 23 and 8, it says, But Yahai, Yahai, Jalib, Jalib, which brought up and which led the seed, and speaking of the race of the house of Israel, let's see if we can get that Exodus photo. Now, I think we need an Exodus photo right here, because we're speaking about Exodus. We're speaking about the preparation for Exodus. We're speaking of the preparation for sustainable development, according to covenant. You understand? Stop doing it our own way, you understand, and making up things and start to submit ourselves to, to the will of the King of Kings in his Christ, in our black Lord and Savior. You understand? Because that's, you see, there's an obedience test. Right? There's, a, there, there, there's a very important obedience test. Let's, let's open this one up as well. Let's open this one up. Um, you recall this one right here? Because it's speaking about the African Exodus. Right? The African Exodus. Let's bring it more into, right? The children, right? The children, right? The children of the slaves. Let's, uh, 
I'll bring this one forward. Shabbat Shalom. The children of the... Okay, this is good. This is good right here. The children of the slaves. So let's let's deal with it like this until we can get the, the size a little a little bit bigger over there. It says um in verse verse seven and eight. Verse seven and eight, once again of Jeremiah chapter seven. Now we said this has a lot of bearing when we are interpreting this in the in the revelation time right now. In what time of revelation we're in. Now the fullness of Torah portion reading and feeding. Brothers and sisters, you have the opportunity. Please make you know you have to invest. You got to put like you know like a, a in in a in a so-called bank account. We're not talking about the economic system of Babylon or whatever, but the basic principle. You have to put in in order to get out. So you have to put the word in you. You're not going to understand everything all at once. And if I had an opportunity, I'll be here for a thousand years in a day. You know, saying, explaining you know what we have learned in that process of when we put the word in us, how his Holy Spirit now is able to move and activate in that word. That word is that treasure. You understand? So we actually store it up to even just become familiar with it. You know what I'm Because if we don't know it, you know what I'm If we don't know it and we don't learn it, you know what I'm saying? Then we can't really distinguish the call and the voice, the Holy Spirit voice, you know what I'm Or the direction. You understand the direction, and and this 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 much on this particular subject matter. You understand, but let's go into um this verse right here because we're comparing this with uh, the yot right here, right? And we're looking at verse six, right? Verse six right here. Bamarinya says, "Negergin inya begivet amidarinda tekemetin the mekakalacho wim balefacho hu bacho." For ye know how we, right, how we have dwelt in the land of Egypt. So you see the land of Egypt right here. The land of Egypt is a type because we're in a spiritual Egypt. This is what we've been broadcasting and posting and teaching on that. Many are beginning to understand this is a spiritual Egypt. Some say the Egypt of the West. But the spiritual Egypt, so you know how we have dwelt in this spiritual Egypt. But now, hear the word, if you will, of Jeremiah, right? Of Jeremiah, right? Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 7 and 8. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come, right? The days are coming, all right? The days are coming. The days come. Say, if Yahweh, he will be who he be. His divine majesty, that they shall no more say, Yahai, Yahai. They shall no longer say, Jalib, Jalib, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So the word of the prophet, Hermias, or Jeremiah, is saying to us that the days are coming that they'll no longer say, right, that Jalib. Now notice that. Who says Jalev? It's I and I. But in the Torah right, in the, in, in the prophets right here, in Jeremiah chapter 23, the Navim or Navim or Nabiyat, chapter 23, verse 7 and 8, it says, The days will come with a known and say, Jalev, which brought us out of Egypt. But what would they say? Verse 8. It says, But, Yahai, 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 Jalev, Jalev. That, that the living God, you understand? You know they say Rasta, your God. No, He Jalev, Yahai, Yahai in the Hebraist in the Hebrew, Jalev, which brought up and which led the seed, which is speaking of the race, right? Speaking of a race, the black race, the once lost but now found, Beta Israel. I and I, or as it says right here, the what? The children, right? The children of the slaves. Can you see that? The children of the slaves. Let's see if we can just sharpen. Let's see if we sharpen that a little bit. Let's see if we can make that a little sharper. The children, right? The children of the slaves, right? That no longer will they say that John lived who brought our ancestors out of old Egypt. So some people say, oh, you keep talking about Egypt. Egypt 
is a type. So just those things. Egypt is a type. This is why when we've been when we've been ministering on um, the most recent revelation is the new and living way. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's 1020 of Hebrews. And, and, and I love these verses right here because it, it just helps I and I to really see that revelation in a living way. Um, 10 and 20, it says right here, it says, By a new and a, a living way, which he have consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. Well, who is it speaking of? Verse 19 says, it says, the, the mitmenon, the one who has amen in the true and living God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Adonenu, Adonai. It says, having, therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest. The holiest what? The holiest place. By what? By the blood, the life of Yeshua, the liberty of Yeshua. We're going to have to bring that up as well. You know what I'm saying? So, so ones who, who might just be tuning in, you know, to this vid, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and they might not, you know, they might not really know, you know what I'm saying? So we want to show them, you know what I'm saying, show them as, as Paul said, you know, when Paul spoke of, um, you know, when Paul spoke of, uh, of, 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 in Galatians, that was says evidently, you know what I'm saying? Yeshua HaMoshiach evidently pictured, you know what I'm saying, or evidently shown. Well, it's, it, it, they even had a painting at this time. This is why when we trace some of the oldest um, iconography and images, we, if, if, we, if you really study the art and study the imagery, you'll find that there's an interesting consistency. Even in some of the pictures, the original Ethiopian images of Yeshua HaMoshiach, what we're going to do is, let's bring this up right here. Let's see if we can bring this up. Let's go to the top up here. And let's see if we can bring this. We'll use this right here. Um, kind of interesting collage, you know, even connecting with the its. We have a, we have a, a, a teaching, a cannabis matrix revisited, right? The cannabis matrix revisited. Okay, that's... Uh, Let's see, bring this up. Okay, the machine is going to hack. Okay, it's bugging out. Let's go to uh, let's go to our other folder over here. All right, let's go to our other folder over here. And let's see if we can do it like this so we can find the easiest. Um, okay. There we go. This is from, I think, this is from um, Zare. All right, uh, let's see, let's put this on. All right, so in a new and living way, I want you to, you know, meditate, muse on that, if you will, all right, in a new and a living way, all right, in a new and a living way, and uh, I don't know why this thing is not closing up, but let's just open this one right here. All right, you see how you see how these are some of the original Ethiopian images right here in a new and living way. See Yeshua HaMoshiach, right? Jesus Christos, our Black Lord and Savior. But now let's we recognize that yes, he is. He took on our flesh. He took on our humanity, our wool and our mane, right? And we recognize even within the cannabis matrix, you know, within that 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 bush, you know, what I'm saying that 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 sacrifice, that bush, you know what I'm saying? That bush, which later on Moses would reveal to us, is that burning bush. So what does it say right here? Right. Let's let's move this over. What does it say right here? In a new and a in a new and a living way. Let's bring this up. Um, let's see if we can bring this side by side. Um, let's try, let's try, okay, here, here we go, all right? For right now, we'll bring up the other pics right there. In a new and a living, right? In a new and a living way. It says, 
which he have consecrated, for he is our high priest. Now I want you to understand what Yom Kippur means. Right? Yom Kippur. Right? What's the time check? Okay, we'll try to go an hour and then we'll pick up with this hopefully in the next part of this. But just before we go forward, I want you to meditate on this. Geta Yesus Besikletu. It's in on the cross. The significance of both our Adonai, Adoni, taking on our flesh. Right? Our sinful flesh. Therefore, the flesh of the fallen black man. Yovis. But then we have to understand that that is a stage. That is just one level of our spirituality in grace and in truth. So we receive grace because we recognize that truth. We have a love of that truth. But we are not to just take pride because he's black and not walk in that new and living way. You know what I'm saying? That's almost like a, a, a forgetful hearer. You know what I'm saying? Like we hear but we forget what it's really about. Now when we look at Yom Kippur, this is the coming up on 25th, which is 25th and 26th of this month in the next two, three days, and we hope to have a teaching on that, because this is a time when the high priest, and Yeshua HaMoshiach, he is our high priest, our great high priest. Now, when you study the book of Hebrews, Hebrews is the liturgy of the, 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 the Kedase. It's really Hebrews, if you have a Hebrew foundation, you understand, as Ethiopian Hebrews, or even as a black Hebrew, you understand, you have to understand the importance of the book of Hebrews, but, like Corinthians say, you understand, if you have a veil over your heart in the reading of the Old Testament, you're blind. You understand? You're blind to the fact. You understand? You're blind to the fact, baby. You understand? You're blind. You're blind to the, you're blind to the fact, this, the, uh, this truth. Right? By a new and living way which he hath consecrated for us through the veil. Verse 20, Hebrews chapter 10. And it says, that is to say, his flesh. So the flesh is a veil. You know what I'm saying? Remember when Moses came down from the mountain? You know what I'm saying? And he had to put a veil over his face. You know what I'm saying? Because they could not straight waily look at him because of that 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 light, that brightness, but it says that was that glory. The scriptures say, but it's, it teaches that that was a fading glory. You know what I'm saying? But there was another glory. You know what I'm saying? There was another glory. You know what I'm saying? And that's the glory of Yeshua HaMoshiach, which does not fade. So, some of the details about this we've touched on in other vids. But it's such a beautiful, it's a beautiful um, synergy. There's, there's such a beautiful um, synergy that comes to a truly spiritual singularity where we recognize that, yes, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is one, a hadu, um, like, but we have to recognize that, the, that the, the fact that he is black, it, it is a fact. You understand? I mean, that is one foundational level. But then also a link with the Anabosim, that bush, and how that connects in type to Abraham's sacrifice of Yitzhak, right? And how the Father, you know what I'm saying, has sent his only begotten son as that propitiation of the seed, you know what I'm saying, of the black seed. Is it only just for the black seed? No, it's not. It's for the Jew, the Hebrew, Moa Anbessa, then they get a Yehuda, the Hebrew, or the black Jew, we're speaking originally now. You know what I'm saying? Not speaking of a convert. We're talking about the root. We deal with the fact. It's not rejecting our brothers and sisters of other colors or races or nationalities, but it's a foundation to this. We have to build on the foundation. We have to build on the rock. But that rock, which truly is Yeshua HaMoshi, is an offense. Because some find the fact that Christ is black to be an offense. So we have to ask them in this Torah portion, not really ask them, but really ask the Father and the Holy Spirit. You understand? How are we standing? You see, this Torah portion means standing. And we could have gone and, and researched 
and searching the word. And this would be a good search, brothers and sisters. Baruchu, give thanks for that video just to heal the eye up. May, may Yah bless the eye and other brothers and sisters doing their own video, doing their own work. You understand? And sharing their revelation, sharing that which to strengthen other brothers and sisters, redeeming the time. Because the days are kuful, are evil, right? So the flesh is a veil, right? The flesh is a veil. I, I just can't, can't um, help not to go here. And I know we had, had, had taught on this, and this is just one a very beautiful um, portion of the scripture that we really need to properly um, 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 digest. Tawahid or Mawahad. Yosem Mawahad. Yes, him being black is the spiritual fact. Yosem. But let's look in. Um, 2 Corinthians, write this down, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, where it's speaking about the glory, or the Shekinah, the Shekinah, and we hope to do a vid where we're going to touch on the ark, and the rock, you understand, the rock, and the ark, you understand, and, and what it really discloses to us, you understand, in Rastafari revelation, through Ethiopian Tabot Christian or Tabot Christianity, Ark Christianity. Here in Second Corinthians, right? Here in Second Corinthians, um, chapter three. Remember, we talking about the glory. We're going to go from verse ten. It says, "For even that which was made glorious hath no glory in this respect, by reason of the glory that excelleth." So it's comparing the Old Testament, which is the shadow, to the New Testament, to that revelation. So when we look in the Old Testament, it was Egypt, right? And remember, we was in Jeremiah chapter, chapter 23, and, and we didn't even get through the whole of verse 8 just yet, because just the, 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 the spiritual magnitude of this. It says, but Yahweh lives. Ya live, ya hai, ya hai, ya live, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel, Bamarinya Mindino, house of Israel, Beta Israel. It led them. Where did it lead them? Right? Where did it lead the seed, the race, right, of the Beta Israel out of the North Country? What North Country? Well, ain't this North America? Out of the north country. So the north country is in this prophecy. And our exodus is also, let's understand, our exodus is also contained as well in this prophecy. Let us recognize, you understand? Let us recognize Christ in his kingly character. All right, let's move this over as well. And let's bring that right there. Our exodus, the true African, Afro-American, Afro-Caribbean, the true beta Israel, Exodus, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 8. I know I, I pointed out the second Corinthians, because I want to speak on the veil, connect the veil with the flesh. He opens them, so when we're speaking about his blackness or his Ethiopianness, you know what I'm saying? that's a fact, but we have to get past that, you understand, know which is still a carnal fact of the matter and to receive that spiritual because his his crucifixion you know what I'm saying, for our soul salvation for the seed people it was also a DNA rescue mission you know what I'm saying? we've been talking about how how the how the 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 crucifixion of Christ his his redemption the spiritual aspect how it recharges our melanin you understand how our melanin now becomes divine when we receive that grace according to that truth, that grace and that truth. So here it says, But Yahai Jalib, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, North America, you understand? And from all the countries, all the other countries of the Rastafari, the Beta Israel, diaspora, and from all countries, whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in somebody else's land? No, in our own land. 
we as Ethiopians at home and abroad, do you not understand this connection? Why I, 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 I had to segue, you understand, from this Torah portion reading and feeding from Netzabim, right, from Netzabim in Devarim, which is this particular Torah portion reading and feeding we call Komat Chichwal. Omar Chihuahua, Nitzavim, Nitzavim, you understand? You all who are standing. You see it right here? You all who are standing. Bring it up. Oh, give thanks. Bring it up a little bit more right here so we can just see this a little bit larger. Nitzavim, the one standing. You see this? The one standing. You understand? Know That's why it says, ye who think you stand, check how you stand, the word said, lest lest you fall. We, we need to get a scripture on that, right? Yeah, we need to get a scripture on that. Let's get the scripture on that. Ye who stand, right? Ye who stand, it says, check out how you stand. Well, I'm saying check out, you know, in order to make it, you know, for ones to overstand in this time. Ye who stand, you understand? Check out how you stand. Least you fall. Let's see if we can get this verse. Because this, this is what the Spirit is putting on. Wow, 143. Let, let, let's just stand and let's put fall and just triangulate the verse. Right? And now we're down to seven. You see that? Um, this is a great way to search. You might not remember the whole verse. Right? Or I will have you understand right there. You understand? Here we go right here. Here we go right here, brothers and sisters. And we may close this part on, um, okay, well, this, this is also one part right here, too. It says, who art thou that judges another man's servant? In other words, why are you looking? This is Yom Kippur. Yom, I mean, not, this is not today, but this is leading. This is a Shabbat leading to Yom Kippur. It says, who art thou that judges another man's servant, right, to his own master? He standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holding up for God, for Abba, for Father is able to make him stand. You understand? To make him stand. This is from Romans 14 and 4. You know, when we look at the theme of the, of, of the, the, the key word, right? The key word. You understand? The key word. You understand? This one says, one man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Or every day. Yovas, it's not just a, this is the Shabbat. You understand? Not just that this is the Shabbat day or this is the end of the Shabbat or this is Yom Kippur. But it's to walk in this in a new and a living way. That's what Hawaii Apollos is trying to say right here. He says, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Let every man be, you know what, don't have any doubt. You understand? Don't have any doubt. Now, there's some very good instruction here because it's not to get pharisaical when we're talking about the holy days. Because we're overseeing a new and living way. You understand? Then it is every day. You understand? Then it's every day that we must walk in that true spirituality. Let's get the other verse, right? Lest ye fall. Right? Lest, you know, well, actually, lest ye fall. Or while the Apollos is speaking to all of us right here, and we have two matches. So we came from 148, and we're coming closer and closer right here. Well, actually, you know what I'm saying? Actually, let's see right here. Now, okay, that right there. Let's get this first. And James, yay, uh, uh, lest ye fall into condemnation. Yeah, okay, this is this is another part. Okay, I mentioned fall right there, but um, let's say, ye who stand. Um, let's see. Ye who stand. Ye kutan name. This is this, this, this a much revelation right here that we want to share in this portion. And we know we're going a little bit over the time. But we, we're told we, 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 can, we got a couple more minutes. Um, I, mean, this is the, I mean, this is a beautiful one right here where it says that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. That's, that's uh, Colossians. And just bring that right here. Colossians, it says, 
This is what they say. This is Afra. I was it Afros? Afros. It says, it says Epaphras. But I've seen some names that they translate. It's really Afro. But the way they translate it. That's, all, that's also another, you know, that's another video right there. It says, Who is one of you, a servant of Christos, saluteth you always, right, laboring fervently for you in what? In prayers. That ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God, in all the will of Abba, in all the will of I and I, of I and I, Father, right? Um, let's see. Uh, you stand, check how you stand. Let's, let's ye fall. Um, let's see. He standeth or falleth. He could tell. I know I'm, going, I'm, I'm, I'm moving through this. But, but just giving verses like how when there's some key words. And the key word contains an idea. We had touched on, actually we had touched on right here from the land of Egypt, right? When we're talking about in this Torah portion, or Netavim, Netavim, uh, Komad Chakwal. And we're in the 51st, Komad Chakwal, Netavim, right? And in this Torah portion right here, which um, consists of Deuteronomy 21 and 10, to Deuteronomy chapter 30, right, or 30 and 20. This portion right here, the one standing, right, the one standing. What does this consist? Well, this portion right here, Moses tells the Beit Israel that all the people stood before Ha Elohim, Baruch Hu, blessed be He, to enter into the covenant, the Benai Barit, to enter into the Kal Kidan into the word agreement, and how appropriate that this Torah portion is before the high holy day of Yom Kippur, right, Yom Kippur, and Yom Kippur actually meant the covering, right, that, that it covered, right, but now in and through the living way of Yeshua HaMoshia to the glory of our God, Father, Abba Kedus, the King of Kings, you know what I'm that we don't only have a covering of our sin, but we have truly and atonement, you know what I'm saying? And we are able now to walk in it, in it, in a new and living way. But it's also, it's also, we have a DNA rescue because he took on our sinful flesh. He took on our black skin. He took on our Ethiopian skin. You know what I'm saying? And 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 the fall, you know what I'm saying? He has caused us to rise and to stand. You understand? Know stand spiritually before. You understand? Know him. You understand? Know to the glory of his father, of our father. So when we compare now, and this is where Second Corinthians, right, chapter 3, actually comes in handy, overstanding the veil. And even you, 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 when you're reading, you will see that the apostles speak in a certain language. They speak in a certain, uh, it's like a Hebrew cosmology. Let's overstand it like that. Of true, it's based on the ancient mysteries, but now we have an overstanding through the new covenant. You understand? Through the Rastafari revelation. So all the people we are, we stand this day, right? And we enter into the Kalkidan. Now, yesterday, not yesterday, yesterday, but in the time that this Torah portion is speaking. It is also interesting when you just read the first couple of words, right? When you just read the first couple of words from, from verse, uh, verse 10, when it says, Ye stand this day, right, to enter into the covenant, right, that ye established with the God of Abraham, Yishak, and Yaakov. It says, Neither in verse 14 with you only do I make this covenant and this oath, but with him that standeth here with us this day, before Yahweh Eloheinu, um, and also with him that is not here today. So it's, this covenant at verse 15 will show you very clearly is with those who were there and also we who were not even yet born, yet conceived. Our, 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 our fourth generation wasn't even yet conceived at that time. Now in verse 16 was connecting the fact that it was speaking to how we dwelt or how our ancestors dwelt in the land of Egypt. 
and how we came through the what? Nations. All the nations. You see all nations coming over here to America from everywhere. They really care little about our Holocaust and our affliction. But Abba cares. You know what I'm saying? If you care to Shema, if you care to hear. So he goes on in verse uh, 17, right? In verse 17 it says, mm-hmm. What does that mean? And ye have seen their abominations. This is what we're experiencing now, right? In this spiritual Egypt. And their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them. Brothers and sisters, we're going to have to pick up on this in, in another part of Nitzabim. Please stay tuned for this because we want to post this as we're coming up to the high holy day. So once again, Shalom Rastafari.